Hi all. So a couple of videos ago, we found out that my friend has rusty seals welded directly on top of the original, even rustier seals. And while grinding back all the paint and the filler to try and find the welds, I unfortunately discovered that I think the rear wheel arches have been given the same treatment. So with that discovery there's only really one course of action and that was to cut the outer set of the arches off so that I could deal with what might lie underneath. Now originally I thought that the arches were in pretty good condition so I wasn't going to mess with them but as I found that that is not the case I decided that this part that I cut off is in pretty good nick. If I can keep it that way and not destroy it while removing it I might be able to use it as a basis for a really cool white body. Now it's not something that I've tried before but I've got a plan. So the idea is now to reattach the arch panel that I just cut off, but space it out from the body by about an inch. This will then give me a gap that I've got to fill in. Once that gap's filled and the old arch is cut off, I've got my wide body. Simple, right? So I've got my little wood spacers in with some chipboard screws. I've done like we're just over a quarter of an inch here and then it like tapers out to an inch at the top. So I'm being conservative to start off with. Next up I'm gonna get some tape to like bridge this gap just so that you really get a feel of the overall shape of the arch. And obviously that's the bit that I'm going to have to make in metal afterwards. So let's get taping.
So I've drawn one line around here where the tape meets the body and another one around here where the tape meets the old bit of arch. I'm going to see now if I can undo these screws and peel the whole thing off. And then I might be able to use this as a template to transfer it over to card. And then from card, if that works and all lines up all right, then I can transfer it from the card to metal. So let's get these screws out and see what happens. Oh, that was nerve wracking. <laughs> I've transferred the tape onto some cards, so this has all got cardboard backing now. Just to stiffen it up, give me a little bit of that like intermediate stage before I try and transfer it onto some steel. But it showed me a few spots where you know, I need to give it a little bit of relief because it's uh, trying to push away from the body a little there. You can see I've already done it here, I've cut a slot just so that I know that I can uh, make that line up a little bit better. See, they just want to overlap when I push them together, so I'll have to take that into account when I make the metal ones. But it all fits pretty nice and flush down here. It's just around the top here, there's a little bit of gappiness, but I think that'll be okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these sections off that's got, you know, like a neighbour either side and I'll transfer one of these to steel, I'll cut it out to shape and then I'll place it in here because then I can make sure that it matches those next to each other, I can see how it fits against the body and once I'm happy with one I'll then move on to the next one and the next one and I'll gradually work my way around like that until I've got the whole thing in metal. And then I can tack them on, tack them together, and we'll go from there. Got one cut out. As close as possible to the cardboard template as I could. I know that I'm probably going to have to take a little bit off each of these edges, like I said about like the overlap. But I can do that with a grinder afterwards. But there we go. Close as I can, just with a pair of tin snips. And I've just got to try and true up the edges a little bit, or as you can see, it's got a little bit of a warp in it. So I'm just going to use the back of my vice like an anvil and just try and get that shape how I want it. I think that should be pretty close. It's got a tiny little bit of a profile in it, just a little bit of a curve. But that's all it should need. So let's give it a test fit. Looks pretty good. It's a pretty tight fit to the body there. Pretty nice across the bottom here. So 
you can see it's just a little bit lifted up here so I just need to put a tiny bit of curve just at that end bit of the panel well, if you can see once I push this so that it's up against the body at the top then I've got a pretty neat fitment there happy with that so that's one down like eight to go <laughs> So here's the arch all fully welded out. Just starting to clean some of it back now. And then we'll stick it on, check the fit. Okay, so I'll put my screws back through and blocks to space it out. So I'm going to put it on and well, see how well it fits. A little bit tricky to get these lined up with the holes because obviously you can't see them. Right, let's see what we can do. I think that's gone pretty good there's a little gap here but that's where there's a gap between the screws so once I've got something in there you know that's gonna close up no problem at all but it's pretty tight to the body all the way around everywhere else doesn't look too wavy or wobbly most of the big marks are actually those grinder marks that were already there. Most of the bit that I've put in is nice and smooth. So I shouldn't need much filler to get that to look good. I'm pretty happy with the width. It's just that little bit extra it needs without being crazy over the top. And keeping the original like arch profile, which is pretty unique, the HC range. Nice. Well, if I can get the other side to turn out as good as that, I'll be happy. So that's all for this video. But as you can see from this clip of the next one, things got a little bit wild whilst cutting out the original wheel arch and ended up taking out the entire tub too. So if you want to follow me dealing with that situation or just see more of the build in general, Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.